I wasn't the most excited about this, but it needed to be done. You stole my heart of gold. What is up everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video than what we usually do on my channel. Today we're going to be kind of doing an experience video where I talk about how I upgrade from an iPhone 6 to an 8. And I purchased this new and this is just a video of me and my experience on how um, smooth it went, issues I ran into, and just everything in general about the experience of buying this new phone. I have decided to get rid of the iPhone 6 and we're going to upgrade. It's about time to let go of the 6s. I mean, you've literally had them since high school. We're about to go into the AT&T store and see what I come out with. Why are you taking so long? Sorry, it's dysfunctional. Obviously. <laughs> okay, so we had a turn of event. Did not come out with literally anything. The plan that I'm on right now is considered a paid. Was it prepaid, prepaid. she said? And so basically since I'm on a prepaid, I can't, I'd have to finance the phone and do that. Was it unlimited on it? I was that what it so. was? So we have to go to an Apple store. And the closest one in is, is in Atlanta. Sam says she's hungry. I have something for her. Here's a... As long as I have Apple DLA. Pay because I forgot my wallet. Here's some funny memes too. That might be funny. This one says, "Who? the mystery of who gave a shit. It's Fashion Week, bitches. If I'm not gonna Pussy on a pole. <laughs> Whoa, let me show that your, one. Trim your bush. All brought to you by my mother. <laughs> Cumberland, Cumberland? I'm trying Cumberland. to get my other strap. We're at, at Cumberland Mall in Cobb County. Buckle up, baby, I mean business. Is Gucci here? Balenciaga, Prada? We found the Big Apple. We found the Big Apple and not New York. The other Big Apple. <laughs> Bad though. No, it's really not. I mean, that's not with tax though either. Kind of with the plus one. Yeah, it's, it's look, cute. Just look, at, just look at the phone comparison on that. Yeah. One of the very first things I ran into was that I wanted to do a prepaid on my phone. And since I wanted to upgrade to the 8, I had to outright buy this. And it wasn't too bad. I mean, I had money set aside, but it's still the fact that this was a pretty penny. When we actually went to the AT&T store, they said that they didn't have any prepaid phones. So that's why me and Sam had to go to one of the malls in Atlanta, which traffic thankfully wasn't that bad, which was a drive. Cause I think it was about roughly half hour, 45 minutes into Atlanta. And that's not with traffic. Cause we actually, on the way to, we didn't hit traffic, but on the way back, we did hit traffic. Once we got to the store, um, we had no problem finding the Big Apple. That's what I call the store. And it was, a, it was actually my first experience ever being inside of an Apple store. And I mean, I've always, I haven't, I have seen, you know, people going to the mall and, you know, walking in the Apple store, people walking around with Apple bags. So, I mean, I knew of it. I just never set foot inside because Quite frankly, never really was interested in buying a new Apple because most of mine I actually bought off of friends or I bought off the internet already pre-used. And mind you, like Apple was already unlocked and I just had to stick my little card in there and be on my little way. This was a very weird experience. Walking into the store was like being beamed in the face by the sun. You know when you just like look up and you're like, oh, it's a nice day. And then you look up and you're just like, that's what it was like inside the Apple store. Kind of like the opposite of Hollister where there's literally like no lights at all and you're like, I can't see the price on this. But in this case, it was super bright in there. Once we got in the Apple store, they were very friendly, very helpful, point us in the right direction of where um, the prepaid phones. I took a second to make my mind up, of course, because pulling the trigger was a little hard, I'm not going to lie. Especially for that much. <laughs> my heart hurt a little bit. Need a second. Can do my thoughts. When I did, I went and got an Apple employee. 
the process was actually really fast. It only took like, I was in and out of the store in like 15, 20 minutes. The phone actually came really fast. We only waited for like five minutes and just casually conversed um, with a little Apple dude. Like I had a question, a few questions. So I was like, da 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 It was time to pay. And for some reason my card did decline the first time and I tried my other one and it still declined. But I had some cash on me. We paid split payment and they actually had to ring it up as a credit. The one thing that blew my mind, can you not, blew my mind was when we were, um, when I handed them the cash, the cash register had nothing on top. It was like a display case just for the Apple phones. And the literally, I kid you not, the drawer popped out full of money. Scared the tar out of me because I was like, I was looking, you know, just casually and I was like, Oh my God, money came out. So that one was really cool. I did not expect that. Once we got out, um, I got my little Apple bag. Sam wanted to go get food, but I was so scared that someone was gonna like run by and snatch that thing, the bag for me. So I was like, can we please leave? Like, I don't wanna be here anymore because I don't want someone to steal what I just bought. I was like, can we please leave? So we went to my car and we unboxed. We got the iPhone 8 Plus with 64 gig. And so now we're gonna do some peel porn. Oh, baby. Oh. That's How a great start. do you feel? Well, just to acknowledge the fact that I really don't want to take this out of the box because I don't have a case yet. Plus the but fact we're that we were walking to the mall and she was like, I feel like I'm going to get robbed. Ooh. 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 Ah! Just kidding. Ah! Do I get free stickers? That's why. That's why I bought this just to get the free stickers. Oh, yes. I should probably. Is this thing even charged? You might need to charge it, but my phone is. Is this AirPods? Did I get AirPods? You, uh, you, uh, you need your here? phone. Oh, that's right. Pop. Pop goes the weasel. Exposing myself out here. I'm gonna flip that over. AT and T. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Why am I shaking? Why am I you shaking? You were shaking so hard in the Apple store though too. I thought I just you were just getting general. nervous. I just shake in general. Oh, bro, this thing is so big. It's pretty. It's so pretty. I'm More so... peel porn? That, no, I'm leaving that on until we get a, a case cover for that one. Why is it not turning on? Ah! ah whoa! That was pretty. On. English. Spanish. We're from, shut up. Went to Best Buy's. They didn't have anything. Like the only cases they had was some weird plastic one. The case was cheap as heck. And it was probably like 25 bucks. And I was like, I could go to Five and Below or Walmart and get one for like six bucks. So we went to Walmart. And so Sam ran off and got some snacks. And then I was in the phone aisle looking for cases. Mind you, I already knew in mind that I wanted an OtterBox. I know myself. I've broken phones in the past just because my dumb bun self <laughs> takes the cases off them and then I'm like, oh, it had, nothing's broken yet. And then a month later, I break it. So this time I was held and determined to get a case and keep that thing on there. And when I mean get a case, we're getting a case, like a good case. I spared no money for the Otter Box either, but I mean, it was part of the budget, so. I got a case and then I got a plastic screen cover. I well, the, I guess it's the glass one, so it was like six bucks. But I got it because I know last time with my Otter Box, I had put my phone in there and I guess I didn't clean it as often as I should have. The dirt and grit and everything that I got under the phone case of the Otter Box and onto the screen started to rub and actually left scratch. And this time around, I feel like I was somewhat smart and I got the glass and then I put the Otter Box. And you would think, well, wouldn't you have to like smash that thing to press no you really don't i just barely touch it and we're perfectly fine we went uh went outside put everything together mind you i had like my uh car lights which were not the greatest car light on trying to like put the little screen thing on there but after that it was smooth sailing one thing i really do like about upgrading from the six to the eight is I went up in size because this one is just the normal standard iPhone and this one I got it's the plus 
Another thing that I upgraded besides the initial size of the phone was the capacity it has. And this one was a 32 gig and it's just the iPhone 6S. And then I upgraded to the iPhone 8 Plus, but this one has 64 gig inside. And as a, a young YouTuber, I really wanted to take advantage of this opportunity and just get a little bit more extra just because though I do not have a nice camera to film on, I would still like to have a little bit more space to allow me to be more creative and do more things in my phone through my uh, YouTube. Can we not just acknowledge the fact that this has a way better camera? Now, one thing I did do going into this and I think was something that you should look at before you purchase a phone or just make a big purchase in general is look and see which one you are interested in buying because obviously there are different kinds like you can get the S, you can get a um, plus, you can get one with more storage kind of cost and effect kind of value thing there. At the time, the six, they no longer really sold in store. They just had the eight, 10, and then they had um, the new 11s and then the pros with the different cameras. And I will be darned if I'm gonna spend that much money on three cameras. I'm sorry, I'm not gonna do that. Well, I knew realistically my standards would be the eight or the 10. So after that, I did a little research online, talked to a few people and everyone said, even the internet mostly was like, just go with the eight. So I decided to go with the eight. Now, I am glad I did go with the 8 because like the 6, it is pretty similar um, as far as setup. The only thing that I do not like is that there is no jack at all for, you know, like the head, the headphones. And of course, my cheap butt, I'm not going to be buying AirPods anytime soon. I'm not following the trend, okay? Not following the trend. Overall, the experience was really great. Nothing really went terribly wrong. And I'm kind of thankful for that because when you're spending that much money, nothing you don't want anything to happen overall i'm just pleased with the phone in general i mean minus a few statistics like better camera quality better video quality more storage other than that a girl's happy if you like this video please leave a like and a comment down in the description for some future videos you would be interested in watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button we will see you next time bye <laughs>